Hey everybody, uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to make a, a PC or a Mac build. Um, uh, so uh, we went over a little bit in class on how to install uh, the components so you can make a PC or a Mac build, uh, but or a WebGL build. Um, we're going to go over WebGL builds in a later class uh, because I, I want you to set up an itch.io account. There's a website called itch.io. Uh, I want you to create an account on that before we go into that, but we'll talk about that in a future class. So first thing is make sure that you have the components in order to make a PC or Mac build. So when you're in Unity Hub, go to installs and find the version of Unity that you're working with. And when you find it, click on these three dots here and click add modules. And you want to make sure that Mac build support Windows build support and WebGL build support are all checked because that's when that's we'll be making builds of uh, for various builds uh, in each of these platforms. Um, so and then once you've selected those click done and it'll take some time for those components to install, but that's how you get this set up now when you're actually in unity. This is project two. Uh, right now, uh, some of you are going to be doing this with your Unity uh, tutorial project. So it's the same process, though. Uh, first, uh, you're going to want to go to uh, File and go to Build Settings. The Build Settings menu will pop up. Now, make sure if you have multiple scenes that you want all your scenes selected. Otherwise, it will not progress to the next one. It won't save those in the final build. So say I only have level one selected, then that's all that will generate in the build. Uh, so here I want all three, um, and you're going to want to select, if you're making a PC or Mac build, select PC, Mac, and Linux standalone, and then on target platform, if Windows, then select Windows, if Mac, select Mac, and uh, click build. Now don't, I wouldn't click build and run. First, uh, for this, I would just click build, and let's go to, let's create a new folder completely. Um, I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to create a folder for my game. And so we want to follow the file naming convention. So it's D Cohen. Uh, that's uh, first initial, last name, uh, project one. Uh, Unity tutorial would be, or exercise one would actually be the correct one for your Unity tutorial. And uh, today, let's say today is the day I'm submitting it. So today is February 2nd. Uh, let's go. 02022021. All right, so we select that. We're going to put our build right here. We're going to click select folder. And so it's going to create the build in that folder. But there's something really important. Uh, so it's right now it's making the build. Uh, it'll just take a minute here because this is a relatively small file. And let us take a look at the final project, final product when we're here. Uh, once it finishes. Okay, see now, all right, it's going to pop up the folder. Now, this is how it works. Um, I'm making this on a PC. It might work a little differently on a Mac, but it's basically the same process. Now, when you make a Windows build, it's going to spit out all of this, right? you need to submit every single one of these. So right now, if I click on project2.exe, oh boy, it's not showing on the correct screen, but uh, I guarantee you I can see the game uh, on my other screen, uh, not the screen I'm recording, unfortunately. Uh, let me close that. But every single one of these is necessary. So if I remove, say, this data folder, right? Let's say I have, don't have it in the folder. It's going to give me this error message saying that it can't find that folder. So I need to make sure that that folder's in there. Same with Mondo Bleeding Edge. Like all of these things are critical in order to run the game. So don't just submit this exe file. You might down purchase and download games that have just the .exe file, but what they've done is they've gotten a third-party software to wrap everything together. Uh, you're not using that. You're just using Unity. So what you should do then is actually just zip up your folder of your project. Um, so I'm right clicking here. I use 7 zip to make zip files. There are a bunch of different things you can use to make zip files. Um, and boom, uh, see it's making a zip file right now. And this is what I submit right here. It's ready to be submitted. Now, let's look at making a Mac build. Uh, Mac build, we're going to switch over to Mac OS. Now that's going to take a minute. 
Um, and while I am doing that, uh, while it's getting everything loaded and set up to actually be able to make a Mac build because it's switching over, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, now you don't have to submit both a PC and Mac build, but if you want to create a PC and Mac build, it might be a good idea, especially if you're a Mac user, right? So uh, let's just say I'm going to call this my project to game builds. And I'm going to move, this is the PC one right here. I'm going to put it in here and just, just like to be organized. So I'm just going to go PC build, PC build, and I'll put that in there. And I'm going to make a Mac build folder here as well. Uh, Mac build. Now for making the Mac build, okay, everything is loaded. It's ready to go. Same process. Make sure all your levels are checked. Um, make sure that everything is set up and we are now making a Mac OS build. So we just click build. It's going to ask us what folder to go into. So I'm going to go to, um, let me see, I had that on my desktop actually. So let me go up to my desktop. I'm going to choose my game builds. I'm going to choose my Mac build folder. Now I'm on a PC. This is going to be different than when you're on a Mac, but it's going to make something really weird when I generate that Mac build. But let's, uh, let me show you what's going to happen. Now I can't test the Mac build on the PC to make sure it runs, um, but I'm going to assume it does. And we can do some play testing in class to see if uh, Mac builds are running made by PC is um, PC computers. And if PC builds made on a Mac computer will run on each other's devices. Uh, so we're now just waiting for this to build right here. And um, I'll show you how to make a WebGL build, but we're not going to actually put it up on the web. Uh, you know, no, I'm going to wait on the WebGL build because I think it'll just create confusion. Right now, I just want you to focus on PC and Mac. And in an upcoming class, uh, probably Thursday or next Tuesday, we'll go over how to make a WebGL build. Okay, so our Mac build has been built. But if you notice here, it has Mac build. And I go in here and it's an empty folder, even though that's the folder I selected. And they made this Mac build app. So all I'm going to do is just drag this here. This appears as a folder for us PC users. But if we were on a Mac, this would actually look like an executable file. And if we double click on it, even though all these things are like in here, it would actually show up as a file for a Mac user and they double click on it and they're able to play it, hopefully. So that is how you make a PC and a Mac build. Um, if you wanna submit both, just go to the main folder, right click, zip it, follow the file naming convention that we use here. And that's what I want you to upload. So if you have any questions or anything, please reach out to myself or to Alex. But this is basically, um, it's pretty easy and straightforward process. We will get in a future class, we will get into more uh, thing, more extensive things like player settings that allow you to change the dimensions of the, mo the screen. Uh, we're going to use that for the WebGL build, all sorts of different cool things. But this is what you need to follow for this, uh, the Unity tutorial at least. All right, thank you very much, and I will see you in class.